tonight on Bondi Rescue. Bondi's big beach party. Happy New Year! But things turn dangerous. That was really, really close. A rescue with more than meets the eye. Boys, it's that same girl. We've had, we've had it before. There's romance in the air. I guess I'm going out on a diet. <laughs> and tears in the tower. <laughs> Take me back to the sweet time. As Sydney Harbour erupts, Bondi kicks into party mode. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! There's a party on every corner, but the biggest of all is on the beachfront. Snoop Dogg rocks in the New Year with 15,000 fans. With so many parties in Bondi, there are inevitable consequences. As the roadies bump out, Bondi's lifeguards bump in an hour earlier than normal. Okay. It's a hive of activity at 5 a.m. Oh, here comes H-Man coming down the hill. The first sunrise of the year is full of promise. Yes, Sunday the 1st of January, 2012, you little beauty. All right, we'll chuck some flags up. Dino leads the first patrol on the beach. Many revellers flaunt the no drinking rule on Bondi. Ooh, Papa, Mum, Dad, I love you. Happy New, Happy New Year, Year, guys. Happy, Happy, New Year. Year. Happy New Year's. It's looking surprisingly ordered in a, in, a, in a mad sort of sense. People are pretty happy and so far so good. Um, hope it stays like this. But Bondi never stays the same. You're saying that there's two right there. With Dino's team monitoring intoxicated swimmers at North Bondi, the south end is unpatrolled. H has no choice but to break lifeguard protocol and leave the tower unattended. Another swimmer tries to reach the two men. Now, the pair have been dragged 100 metres from shore. By the time Dino and Max back up, H has christened the year. Our oldest lifeguard of the service knocks off the first double rescue and first rescue of 2012. He's pretty good, old H-man. 62 and going strong. Now for the first lecture of 2012. What are you doing? Oh, that's very dangerous, guys. Come on. Yeah. OK? Have yeah. you been, been out all night? You shouldn't be in the water. Because you could get really hurt. Yeah. Don't be sorry to me. Like, it's really serious, huh? Be careful, hey? That was really, really close. That, would, that second guy would have drowned. I've reached him like this, he was like this. Oh, stoke, mate. That, that would have been two deaths. If that had been half an hour before we got here, gone. That's not an exaggeration. <laughs> 6 a.m. There are thousands on the beach, but not a towel in sight. This time of day, normally, there's people doing push-ups, boxing, sprinting. They make up the majority of the population on the beach, but today I'd say it's made up of people sleeping off a hangover, sleeping off last night. We would like to welcome you Thank to you. the 2012. <laughs> Buddy. Oh. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Hello, good morning. Boys, we're just waking everyone up because I don't want you to get dehydrated with this sun coming out if you've been out all night. All right. One reveller has started the year with an unusual resolution. We got here at 4 a.m. And, and he's and done he every stopped. person. That he's been waiting for people to come down and he's been shaking them. Oh, I love you all. 
It's barely 7am when the relaxed mood is shattered again. So there's a girl out in, right in front of this dangerous current sign and we've been trying to megaphone her and whistle and um, her friends just approached me on the beach and said she doesn't know what she's doing out there and she's completely deaf so she can't hear anything we're saying. Hands gone up, man. Hands gone up. Trainee Max Ashford heads out. That's a long paddle for Max. He's gone at least 200 metres. The girl may have taken in water. The dumping doesn't help. The rescue victim is worse than anticipated. Then, Dino recognises the patient. Boys, it's that same girl. We've had, we've had it before. Call an Amber. A 20-year-old woman has been dragged from the surf close to drowning. But she's a familiar face. We've rescued this girl three times in the last two weeks. She's, uh, she's, a, she's a public nuisance now. It's getting out of control. Lifeguards believe she intentionally put herself in harm's way. People should realise it's not a game. That could really have compromised us if we had a recess going on and we have to deal with it, someone like that. Is she your friend? Hey. hey. Is she your friend? Yes. And you, you let her in the water? No. No. This was much more than a harmless prank and something 19-year-old trainee Max Ashford has never dealt with. Yeah, well, in the end, it does make you pretty angry because taking the time out of our day to rescue her, who's putting it on, is taking us away from the rest of the people who could really seriously be drowning. An ambulance is on its way, but H also calls police. She will be in the lifeguard tower. Meanwhile, it's a United Nations of backpackers on Bondi. Cheers. Happy New Year, isn't it? But the year starts badly for two German backpackers. They're welcome to shore anyway. I'm here. Hi. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Where are you from? From Germany. From Germany. All right. See the flags there? Yeah, it's fine. You know? Yeah. Do you know what the flags are for? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. Just swim between them. Swim between them. I'm not drunk or something like that. That's, that's what, that was not the reason. Good that the lifeguards are over here. I don't think you could have put your bags closer to the no swimming sign. Right. <laughs> Germans don't know that have the knowledge and that stuff. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, guy. More lifeguards come on duty to bolster the team. Guys, well, just so you know, Max is paddling out for one backpackers, including former trainee Maxi. This time, the rescue victim is all the way from Moscow. It's a textbook rescue. Nice form. He's got her on the board. He's pulled her back. Look at this. He's going to give her a little ride, a little floater. I have not done it before, surfing, so it was great. The waves, you were feeling it. And it was so fast. Oh, my God, it was awesome. <laughs> Yana has had the ride of her life. Very nice, very kind, and uh, oh, he's very cute, blue eyes. It's what <laughs> I like. <laughs> Thank you. Aussie guys. <laughs> Yana's not the only Russian attracting the attention of lifeguards. I'm very, like, small, lovable person. And, uh, I don't like when it's cool. I guess it's one of the perks of the job. I just met this beautifully stunning girl from Moscow, and... Uh, I guess I'm going out on a date. <laughs> no, but the beauty of it is, I know and I accept how, like, that I am quite ugly, a bit rough around the edges, but it just proves that it's not all about looks. It's all about, like, 
what's in here, you know. The new year has started well for some. For others, it's yet to arrive. I'd get one in. Right, mate, you're pretty much out cold. He's a big dude. You're not going to move him. Hey, you all right? You all right? You had a big night last night? Hey? Hey, I'm chips. Where'd you go last night, mate? Can't remember. I'm gonna help you get up, right? I'm gonna go up the towel, give you some water. Alright. Okay? What's your name? T. T? Maxi. The party crown sort of died away now. There's one or two left sleeping on the beach, but the full family crowd's come down now, so nine o'clock they would have got to bed after watching the fireworks, and they're all down here now. Tons of kids filling up the beach. The beach is just going to be packed, I think, by about lunchtime. It's really starting to fill up. We're going to have a busy afternoon. January the 1st, 2012, it's, uh, it's busy. This is the busiest I've seen it probably for a couple of years. But the age-old lessons of surf safety need to be taught all over again. Please don't swim in front of the yellow non-swimming sign. Please come back in, go swim in between the flags. Lifeguards need to herd swimmers into the flags before the tide turns and the rips become deadly. Back at the tower, the girl who put herself in harm's way doesn't require medical attention. She's attracted police attention instead. You understand you place other people's lives at risk? Yeah, I know. Anybody in their right mind would not have gone swimming there. Oh, what a world we live in.